Welcome to Quaver TV, where we delve into the lives of the most fascinating individuals who've shaped our cultural landscape. Today, we're exploring the extraordinary journey of a man who's defied the odds time and time again. From orphan to military man, from near-death experience to hip-hop pioneer and television star, get ready to discover the gripping tale of Ice-T, a man whose life proves that the most interesting people are forged in the crucible of adversity. Our story begins in Newark, New Jersey, where Tracy Lauren Marrow was born on February 16, 1958. Ice-T's early life was marked by tragedy that would shape his resilient character. By the tender age of 13, young Tracy had lost both his parents, his mother to a heart attack when he was just three, and his father to a heart attack a decade later. Suddenly an orphan, the teenage Tracy was sent across the country to live with relatives in Los Angeles, California. This abrupt transplantation from the East Coast to the West would prove pivotal in shaping Ice-T's future. Growing up in the tough neighborhoods of South Central Los Angeles during the 1970s, he was exposed to the harsh realities of inner city life. However, rather than succumbing to the challenges around him, Ice-T made a decision that would give him structure and direction, he joined the United States Army. For four years, from 1977 to 1979, Ice-T served in the 25th Infantry Division. This period in the military instilled in him a sense of discipline and purpose that would serve him well in his later careers. It also exposed him to the world of hip-hop, as he became interested in DJing during his time stationed in Hawaii. After his honorable discharge from the Army, Ice-T returned to Los Angeles. He began to dabble in music, rapping at parties and clubs, but he also became involved with the Crips gang and engaged in various criminal activities to make ends meet. It was during this tumultuous period that Ice-T's life took a dramatic turn, one that could have ended his story before it truly began. In the early 1980s, exhausted from his grueling schedule as an up-and-coming rapper and street hustler, Ice-T dozed off at the wheel of his car while driving on a Los Angeles freeway. The resulting crash was catastrophic. His vehicle flipped multiple times, leaving him with severe injuries and in a coma. What happened next reads like a script from one of the crime dramas he would later star in. Unconscious and unidentified, Ice-T lay in the hospital as a John Doe. With no identification and no one aware of his whereabouts, he might have died there, unknown and unclaimed. But fate had other plans. One of his friend's mothers, concerned about not having seen Ice-T for some time, began calling local hospitals. In a stroke of luck that would change the course of his life, she managed to locate him. This guardian angel didn't just find Ice-T, she also provided crucial information that would ensure he received the care he needed. She informed the hospital staff that Ice-T was a veteran, which led to his transfer to a veterans affairs hospital. There, he received the specialized care that aided his recovery. As Ice-T lay in the hospital, contemplating his brush with death, he experienced an epiphany. He realized that life was too precious to waste, and he needed to channel his energy into something positive. This near-death experience became a turning point, pushing him to fully commit to his music career and leave behind the dangerous lifestyle that had brought him to this precipice. With his second chance at life, Ice-T threw himself into his music with renewed vigor. He began crafting lyrics that drew from his experiences on the streets, in the military, and from his recent brush with death. His unique perspective and raw, unfiltered style would soon set him apart in the burgeoning West Coast hip-hop scene. Ice-T's breakthrough came with the release of, Six in the Morning, in 1986, a track that is often credited as one of the first gangster rap songs. This was followed by his debut album, Rhyme Pays, in 1987, which became the first hip-hop album to carry an explicit content sticker. Ice-T's music was a reflection of his life experiences, gritty, unapologetic, and brutally honest. Throughout the late 80s and early 90s, Ice-T continued to push boundaries with his music. Albums like, Power, and, OG, Original Gangster, solidified his status as a rap icon. His lyrics were raw and often controversial, shining a light on the realities of life in America's inner cities. He became a voice for the voiceless, using his platform to address issues of racial inequality, police brutality, and systemic oppression. But Ice-T wasn't content with conquering just one genre of music. In a move that surprised many, he formed the heavy metal band Body Count in 1990. The group's self-titled debut album, 
released in 1992, caused a national uproar with the track, Cop Killer. The song's controversial lyrics led to boycotts and condemnation from politicians and police organizations alike. Despite the backlash, or perhaps because of it, Body Count gained a devoted following and continues to release albums to this day. As his music career was reaching new heights, Ice-T began to explore another avenue of expression, acting. His first major film role came in 1991 with New Jack City, where he played a detective investigating a powerful drug lord. The irony of a former criminal playing a cop wasn't lost on audiences or critics, and Ice-T's performance was widely praised. This role opened the doors to a successful acting career. Ice-T appeared in numerous films throughout the 90s, including, Ricochet, Trespass, and, Tank Girl. He showed his versatility by taking on a variety of roles, from action heroes to comedic parts. However, it was television that would provide Ice-T with his most enduring acting role. In 2000, he joined the cast of, Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, as Detective Finn Tutuola. This role, which he continues to play to this day, has made him a fixture in millions of homes around the world. The longevity of his tenure on the show is a testament to Ice-T's ability to connect with audiences and his commitment to his craft. Ice-T's journey from orphan to hip-hop pioneer to respected actor is a story of reinvention and perseverance. He's never shied away from his past, often using his experiences to inform his art and his activism. Throughout his career, he's been an outspoken advocate for free speech and has used his platform to address social issues close to his heart. Beyond his music and acting careers, Ice-T has ventured into various other entertainment and business endeavors. He's authored books, including the autobiography, Ice, a memoir of gangster life and redemption from South Central to Hollywood. He's also dabbled in reality television, starring alongside his wife, Coco Austin, in the series, Ice Loves Coco. In recent years, Ice-T has become something of a pop culture icon, known for his witty social media presence and his ability to poke fun at his own image. He's appeared in numerous commercials, often playing on his tough guy persona for comedic effect. From Geico Insurance ads to Cheerios commercials, Ice-T has shown he's not afraid to laugh at himself. One of the most intriguing aspects of Ice-T's career is how he's managed to maintain his street credibility while becoming a mainstream success. He's walked a fine line between his gangster rap roots and his role as a primetime television star, never fully abandoning either persona. This duality has made him a fascinating figure in popular culture, a man who can speak to multiple generations and demographics. Ice-T's influence on hip-hop culture cannot be overstated. He was one of the first rappers to bring the realities of street life to the mainstream, paving the way for future generations of artists. His unapologetic approach to storytelling through music helped establish gangster rap as a powerful form of social commentary. In the world of acting, Ice-T has broken down barriers for rappers turned actors. His long-running role on, Law and Order, SVU, has shown that musicians can have successful, sustained careers in television. He's also been a vocal advocate for diversity in Hollywood, often speaking out about the need for more representation both in front of and behind the camera. As we look at Ice-T's career as a whole, what stands out is his adaptability and resilience. From the orphaned child in Newark to the soldier in Hawaii, from the streets of Los Angeles to the sound stages of New York, from rap concerts to heavy metal shows, from gritty crime dramas to comedic commercials, Ice-T has shown a remarkable ability to evolve and thrive in various environments. This adaptability, combined with his undeniable charisma and talent, has allowed him to remain relevant for decades in an industry known for its fickleness. Today, Ice-T continues to balance his various careers with aplomb. He's still a regular on, Law and Order, SVU, still touring with Body Count, and still engaging with fans through social media and public appearances. His journey from a life of hardship to a multifaceted entertainment career serves as an inspiration to many, proving that it's possible to overcome a difficult past and achieve success through talent, hard work, and perseverance. Ice-T's story is one of transformation, resilience, and the power of second chances. From the orphaned boy in Newark to the multi-hyphenate entertainer we know today, Ice-T has lived a life that is truly extraordinary. He's a testament to the idea that the most interesting people are those who aren't afraid to reinvent themselves, to push boundaries, and to use their voices to effect change.
As we wrap up this episode, it's clear that Ice-T's legacy extends far beyond his music or his acting roles. He's a cultural icon, a survivor, and a pioneer who has helped shape the entertainment industry as we know it today. From the mean streets of Los Angeles to the top of the Billboard charts, from controversial rapper to beloved television star, Ice-T's journey is a uniquely American story of success against all odds. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Interesting People on Quaver TV. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the life and career of Ice-T, please consider subscribing to our channel. And don't forget to check out the links in my bio. Until next time, keep seeking out the interesting people who challenge our perceptions and push our culture forward. After all, in the words of Ice-T himself, the only thing that can stop me is me.